Hi friends, in this video, I'm going to show you how to import a table from MySQL using Scoop and I'm going to import this to HDFS location. You can see this is the HDFS location, MKD test directory and from this HDFS location, I'm going to create a table on this HDFS location and uh, I'm going to use hive okay I'm going to create a hive table uh, on this location okay so first uh, what I'm going to do you can see on my uh, mysql on cloudera uh, you can see I have this mkt database and I have three table okay so let me check uh, what is under uh, person table let me select uh, person table select star uh, from person you can see this is the data uh, from my person table and I'm going to move this all data to this SDFS location okay this is the stfs location and i'm going to create a directory uh, name to okay so i have to write a scoop command uh, for this you can see i'm using uh, the database mkd and uh, the table is version okay so let me uh, let me type a scoop command here ZDBC column MySQL uh, column and I'm using Quickstat Cloudera and uh, I have to specify the database name database name is MKD and here the username is root hyphen hyphen password uh, is cloudera and this is the mysql credential and then you have to mention the table name what is the table name version and then uh, i have to mention uh, only one map uh, mapper okay and then i have to mention the target directory uh, what is the directory name mkd and test directory i'm going to create in the directory s2 okay so this is the directory name i'm going to move this uh, table version from mkd database to this so let me hit this command you can see there is uh, some mistake here so I'm going to check what is the error username root scoop import try and connect uh, password cloudera table version and target directory uh, so let me do one thing let me check uh, with this command this target directory is two okay so let me do one thing let me modify this uh, table version and the 
subject to okay the same command i have not modified anything i think there's some space issue or something You can see it's working. And you can see it's working. The MapReduce job is started. This is a job ID generated. Application ID also here. And you have to wait for some time. You can see it's completed. So let me check SDFS. FNLS MKD. Test directory to okay. Uh SDFS DFS MKD test directory to You can see this file is generating and let me do ls on this directory let me do cat you can see this is the data and you can see this data on uh, this mysql table and this data is moved to this directory okay so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a hive table uh, on this directory. You can see uh, this is this is the hive. Show data this is you can see all the one database is there. Uh, this is deca and default is another database. I'm going to use this show table you can see this is the table I'm uh, going to create a table create table uh, what is the uh, table name I have to give uh, question okay what is the parameters you can see id name city okay so uh, id int name string and city string okay and then row format Fields terminated by okay location I have to give MKD then test directory and then two okay. So let me check create table version id integer name string city string row format delimited fields terminated terminated by this comma and location this okay so 
let me check uh, create table okay so these two I have to mention uh, and this this file is created okay so select star compulsion you can see the same data is here on the high okay so friends this is how you can uh, move any table any data from your mysql to hive using scoop and if you like my video please don't forget to subscribe thank you